kilogat for this night. Okay, Lord, thank you, Lord, for this night. Samahan na po ninyo kami as we have our lesson tonight. Uh, be with us, Holy Spirit. We love you. We praise you, Jesus. And samahan na po ninyo kami as we have also our communion tonight, Lord God. Uh, this will be our time na magka-communion kami as a church. We welcome, Lord God, yung mga first-timer bago, Panginoon. Samahan na po ninyo kami. Thank you, Lord God, for your message tonight. And as we wrap up the churches, Actually, this is the first part ng wrapping up. Hindi pa talaga siya mararap up. Lord, we're praying, Father God, na kayo po yung gumalaw, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for this night. We bless you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Magandang gabi, everyone. Can we greet one another? Good evening. Alam ko, baka greenit nyo na yung bawat isa kanina. Good evening po. Good evening po sa lahat. Ayan, okay. So, sa mga walang ano, sa mga kapasok lang, please do prepare ng ng communion elements. So, ibig sabihin, uh, ball pen tuloy. Ibig <laughs> sabihin, tinapay sa ka juice. Okay? So, kung meron kang Welch at saka meron kang chips ahoy, so mag-prepare kayo. <laughs> okay? So, kung meron kayong Welch, meron kayong chips ahoy, prepare na kayo. So, ano meron kayo dyan? <laughs> so, and welcome nyo na si Lance. Welcome nyo na si Lance. Okay? Okay? So, Lance, welcome Lance. Asan yung kaibigan mo? sa si Danica? Okay. Ate, ate, ate. Yes, sinad ko po, hindi pa po nang re-reply po. Okay, hindi pa eh. Si Kai Kai, wala si Kai Kai? Hindi online. Ah, Naka-mute ka, naka-mute ka, ate, check. Naka-mute ka. <laughs> hindi nag-reply? Hindi siya nag-reply. Okay. Okay, sige. Okay, and dito na yun. Ayan na, na si Kayo. Ayan na si Kayo. Si Tin, tinatawagan ko si Tin, hindi nagre-reply. Oh, sige, so pwede kayo magtimpla ng kape nyo and so on so forth. So, hindi na natin papatagalin to kasi marami tayong pag-uusapan sa gabi nito. So, uh, this is the lesson 6. Lesson 6 na ba tayo? Lesson 6. Okay. Wait lang. Asan ka, Jed? <laughs> Wait po. Asan ka na? Okay. Okay. So, lesson 6 to. So, para sa ano ni Lan, sa ano ni Kai... Uh, sa mga nakamiss nung mga previous lessons, bibigay ko sa inyo mamaya yung mga uh, past lessons sa YouTube. Okay? So, may mga past lessons sa YouTube. So, this will be lesson 6 na ng book ng Revelation. Bakit natin pinag-aaralan ng book ng Revelation? Replay lang tayo. Kasi, ito ay nagdadala ng pagpapala, sabi sa Bible. Okay? It brings blessings sa iyo. So, huwag tayong ano, uh, when you study the book of Revelation, hindi to Uh, parang panakot. Ito ay pag-prepare para excited dahil dumating si Lord Jesus. Di ba? Para bang dumating merong yung asawa mo, kunyari may kasal mo, excited ka magpakasal, syempre, mag-aayos ka. So, ganun din tayo. Di ba? Bilang tinatawag na Bride of Christ. So, we are excited maging part nung uh, pagdating ng Panginoon. But right now, uh, pinag-uusapan natin nung mga nakaraan yung mga seven churches kung saan naka-direct naka yung letter ng Revelation. So, konting review lang. So, meron tayong napag-usapan na apat na churches lang. Knowing, Church of Ephesus, Church of Smyrna, Church of... Ano pa ba? <laughs> uh, Tiatira, and Church of... Ano pa? Uh, tawag dito? Eh, isa pa ang kulang eh. Yeah, yeah. Ephesus, Church of Smyrna, Church of Pergamos. Ayun, Pergamos as Church of Tian. Tira. Okay, so hindi na ako masyadong mag-go into details doon kasi uh, wala tayo masyadong time. Sabihin nyo ako naglalaga ko ah. Sabihin nyo naglalaga ko kasi naka-record tayo. Okay. Ngayon, may pag-uusapan natin ngayon, sa so, tapubukan natin i-wrap up to sa loob ng uh, mabilis na, na oras. So, let's start. Okay, let's start. So, prepare your notebook, prepare your ball pen, and again, uulitin natin. Yung mga churches na to, hindi lang to pinag-aaralan para sa kanila. Ito'y specific para sa'yo. Technically, this is our third service. Okay? This is our third service for the day. So, sa mga nakamiss kanina, this will be your message for today. Okay? Sa mga nakamiss kanina ng tanghali, ito yung pinakamensahe. Sa mga nabitin sa mensahe kanina ng tanghali, ito yung completion nun. Okay? Ito yung continuation nun. Okay? Sige. So, let's start. So, we're talking here ng book of Revelation. Nasa book of Revelation chapter 3 na tayo. Babalikan ko lang ng konti yung dalawang na mga naunang church sa uh, Revelation chapter 2. May tinatawag tayong loveless church. Ang loveless church yan yung Church of Ephesus. Okay? Ito yung church na nakalimutan niya yung kanyang first love. Ikaw, ikaw ito. Tayo to. Yung tipong in love ka kay Lord, 
kaso, nandlamig ka na. Yan, 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 yan. Okay? Loveless church. Pangalawa, yung persecuted church. Siya yung church ng Smyrna. Ito yung mga tao na serving the Lord pero under, pinipersecute ng sobra-sobra. Okay? But mas mahaba pa yan. Okay? Hindi lang yung basta. So, mas mahaba pa yan. Igong e hindi nakasabay dito, again, mamaya isesend ko sa inyo yung teaching sa YouTube. Okay? Yung ano, nakarecord kasi to lahat. Okay, so, persecuted church. So, ito yung pinipersecute ka, sumusunod ka na lang sa Lord, pinap- nahirapan ka pa. Pangatlo, compromising church. Ito yung church of Pergamos. Ano yung Pergamos? Ano yung compromising? Ibig sabihin, nagsiserve ka sa Lord at the same time, nagsiserve ka sa demonyo. Hindi pa pwede yun. Okay? Compromising church. Ibig sabihin, ito yung uh, you're doing your same, uh, parang piniplis mo si God, pero at the same time, piniplis mo yung mundo. Hindi pa pwede yun. Okay? So, pamili ka. Either you will you please God or, or not. So, compromising. Ibig sabihin, you're living a, a, a holy life and at the same time, you're living a sinful life. Parang labo nun, no? Pero ganun yun. Okay? Compromising church. And number four, corrupt church. Tiatira. Anong corrupt church? Sila talaga yung nagtotolerate ng hindi maganda. Nagtotolerate sila mga bagay na hindi kaaya-aya. Okay? Tinatolerate nila yon Yung mga uh, mga bagay na hindi kaaya-aya sa paningin ng Diyos. Okay? Sila yung church na kaya tinawag silang corrupt church. Okay? Sila yung mga nagtotolerate ng mga false teachers, false teachings, and mga sinful things na hindi dapat tinatolerate. Okay? So, ngayon, tapos na yung apat na church. Ngayon pupunta tayo, again, pag nakita mo yung sarili mo sa mga pag-uusapan natin tonight, hindi to to condemn, okay? Lilinawin natin, this is not to condemn, but to let you know na may kailangan ayusin sa buhay na, may kailangan ayusin sa buhay natin. Kasi ang gusto ni Lord, maayos tayo pag dumating siya. Ngayon, kung ay yung bagay na ayusin na yon nakita mo na, hey, parang, di, parang ako to. Nakita mo yung weakness mo, then change it. Diba? Mayroon naman doon word kung paano babaguhin. May instruction si Jesus paano mo babaguhin. Pero si Lord mismo nag instruct ito gawin mo. Ito gawin nyo. Okay? May reward dyan pag ginawa nyo to. Pero at the same time, uh, pag nakita mo yung strength, na sabi mo, ay, ito ako, strength ko to. Then, lalo mong i-improve, pero huwag kang magiging, pri- ah, huwag kang magiging pride. Huwag kang magiging proud. Huwag kang mag- magkakaroon ng pride. Pero improve mo, i-strengthen mo pa. O ba? Diba? At the same time, may reward yung yung mga obedient. Diba? So, ganun lang kasimple. Okay? So, ngayon, punta na tayo sa Revelation chapter 3. Okay. Sa Revelation chapter 3, okay, meron tayong church na tinatawag the Sardis Church. Ang Sardis Church, uh, unstable ang aking connection. Lord, the Holy Spirit, we pray God for sa connection. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord God. Uh, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay pa ba connection ko? Okay pa? Okay pa ako? Ay para. Okay. Ah, sige. Ang Sardis Church ay isang church na tinatawag na the Dead Church. Bakit siya Dead Church? Sabi dito, These things has he was seen, uh, who has seen the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works that you have your uh, I know that you have a name and that you are alive, but you are dead. Okay, take note. Sabi ko sa inyo, Sa mga letters ng, ng sa seven churches, unang-una pinapakilala. Kasi sa portion, pinapakilala sino si Jesus. Dito, pinakilala sino si Jesus. This thing says, He who has seen the seven spirits of God and seven stars. Ibig sabihin, ito yung description ni Lord. Siya yung person na nakakita seven spirits ng God. Sabi, oh, so pastor, mayroong seven spirits si Lord. Wala pong seven spirits si God. It talks about the Holy Spirit. Meron lang siyang pitong manifestation. Okay? So, papaliwa. Pagkausapan na natin yan. Pagdadaanan natin yan. Okay, the seven spirits of the Lord speaks about the Holy Spirit. Okay, wait lang po ah. Okay, naglalag ako. Mukhang ako mismo nakikita ko, naglalag ako eh. Okay, ulitin natin. Okay, kailangan ko ng intercessor. Okay, mo pilipigilan ako turo to. Okay, sabi dito. Uh, Lord, ano ba't nangyayari sa internet namin? Okay. Wait lang guys. Isa na yung record dito. Okay, game. Game. So, meron dito ang Church of Sardis. Sabi dito, ito yung church kung saan kinakilala ng Lord siya yung sumi- uh, seven manifestations. Okay? So, seven manifestations. Always remember that. Ngayon, sabi dito, I know your works that you have 
uh, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Sabi dito, I know your works. Alam mo Panginoon yung mga bagay na nagkukuha mo sa kanya. Pero take note, sabi dito. the things which remain that are ready to die for i have not for i have not found your works perfect before god question is there a church na nagse-serve sa lord pero patay is there a christian na nagse-serve sa lord pero patay ito yung significance noon are you that person or are we the people of the lord now are we are serving the lord it seems we are serving god pero in reality mukha tayong buhay kilala ka, ay boy siya, siya isang kristyano, spiritual siya, and so on and so forth. But in reality, sinasabi sa'yo ng Diyos, maaring nakikita ng mga tao na buhay ka sa panlabas, pero sa totoo lang, ang tinitingnan ng Diyos, buhay ka nga ba talaga? Is your spirit alive? Is your relationship with Jesus alive? Or is your Christian life alive? ba diba? So, hindi pa pwedeng mukha ka lang buhay. Okay? Ang, sa Lord, ginagawa niya seryoso. Are you a serious living Christian? Eh, sabi dito, um, sabi dito, <laughs> ano ulit? Okay, sabi dito, uh, be watchful. Take note of the word, be watchful. Anong ibig sabihin? Bantayan mo. Bantayan nyo. Ba- anong ba bantayan? In strengthen the things which remain. Bantayan mo yung natitira na nakatiting na dahilan kaya nakikita ng mga tao na ikay buhay, na buhay, buhay ka pa. In other words, mayroon pa rin pinapakita si si Lord na mukhang God is not yet giving up on you. That's the point. God is not giving up on the people na na nanlamig. Actually, hindi lang siya nanlamig eh. Na patay talaga. So, paano malalaman na patay itong church na to? Paano malalaman? One of the best example is this. A church na hindi ginagawa yung Great Commission ng Lord. A church na hindi nag advance ng kingdom ni God. A church na hindi nakapagbabago ng buhay. A church na hindi nakakapag-disciple. In other words, a church na puro gathering, puro activities, puro meeting, and you could do that. Na marami kayong meeting, marami kayong gathering, marami kayong ganito. Pero at the end of the day, uh, it, kung wala kung hindi mo ginagawa yung Great Commission, hindi mo ginagawa yung dahilan bakit nag exist yung church, eh, honestly, you're missing the point. Bakit nag exist ang simbahan? And ganun din tayo as a Christian. There are many Christians na mukhang Kristiyano, uh, mukhang buhay, pero patay. Patay ang prayer life. Patay ang relationship sa Lord. Patay ang ando. So, patay. So, sabi dito, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. May natitira ka ba, Pastor? Anong natitira mo? Uh, eto lang natitira ko, prayer life. Anong prayer life mo? Yung prayer life na lang. Then, strengthen. Pala kasi mo yung prayer life mo. Anong natitira sa'yo? Uh, uh, matin ako ng live. Matin ako ng church. Matin ako ng ganito. Ito lang natitira sa akin. Then, pala kasi mo. Manatili ka doon. Magstay ka. In other words, kung may nakita kang katiting, kahit katiting lang na dahilan kaya ka pumakapit doon sa church o doon sa mga tao na nilagay sa set na Lord, hawakan mo mabuti. Pagtibayin mo. Huwag mong pakawalan. Sa Bible yon, Ito, binabasa ko lang sa'yo. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Okay? Umiindap na apoy. In other words, ang next nito, backslide. Ang sinasabi dito ng Panginoon, kinakausap niya dito sa Church of Sardis, sa modern times natin, sa panahon natin, is this. People na maaaring uh, may pag-asa pa, makabangon, pero in reality, uh, nag-aagaw buhay na. Kamusta ang iyong faith? Kamusta ang iyong pananampalataya? Kamusta ang, ang relationship mo sa Lord? May mga church na nag-aagaw buhay. This is reality. Ayan, this is, ito yung Church ng Sardis. Mukha silang buhay. Paano mula sa naging mukhang buhay? You have the form, but you don't have the power. Ulitin natin yan. You have the form, but you don't have the power. You have the form as a Christian, but you don't have the power as a, as a, as a Christian. Diba? As a serve, as a son, as a son, as a daughter of the Lord. Sabi dito, Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die for for not found your works perfect 
before the Lord. Oh, may ginagawa kayo para sa Panginoon. Yan sabi niya. Okay, then, sabi dito, remember, therefore, how you have received. Tapos ito na, sinabi ng Panginoon. This is his solution. Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard. Anong, tong, anong ibig sabihin dito? Remember. For take of the word. Remember. Alalahanin mo. Paano mo natanggap at narinig? Ano yung natanggap at narinig? Yung salita ng Diyos. Paano mo narinig? Alalahanin mo yung unang araw na narinig mo yung boses ng Panginoon. Alalahanin mo yung araw na nai-preach sa'yo yung gospel. Alalahanin mo yung araw na nag-decide ka na ibigay ang buhay mo sa Panginoon. Kung ang Ephesus, alalahanin mo, kagaan mo ka, love si Lord, nung nagsisimula ka maglakad sa Kanya, na ngayon parang nanlamig ka, na wala yung first love mo, pero hindi naman, hindi naman ikaw nagbabackslide, dito, sinasabi niya dito, alalahanin mo yung araw na nag-decide ka, ibigay ang buhay mo sa Panginoon. Ang laki ng different, may magkaiba yun. Okay? So dito, sinasabi niya dito, nawala ka sa Lord, you are dead church, alalahanin mo yung day. Bakit ka ba nag-decide? Bakit mo ba binigay yung buhay mo sa Lord? Kung binigay mo dati yung buhay mo sa Panginoon, bakit ka tatalikod ngayon? Eh bakit ka tumatalikod ngayon? Yun ang sinasabi niya dito. Diba? Sinasabi niya, bakit ka tumatalikod ngayon? Anong dahilan? Alalahanin mo. Dati ka nang tumalikod sa akin. Narinig mo yung gospel. Nung narinig mo yung gospel, bumalik ka sa akin. Bakit ka tatalikod uli? Diba? Parang naintindihan niyo, dati ka nang nakatalikod sa akin. Na dati, ka nang nakata- dati na tayo nakatalikod sa Diyos. Na yung nag-preach nung gospel. Humarap tayo. Tiningnan natin yung Diyos. Nabago ang buhay natin. Then, nabago ang buhay natin. Then, anong reason? Bakit tatalikod pa rin tayo uli sa gospel? Bakit tayo tatalikuran natin ang Diyos? Diba? Pastor, di ko naman tinatalikuran si Lord. Kaya nga sabi, umiindap na apoy. Okay. Nasa Bible. Remember, therefore, how you have received the herd. Kaya nga sabi ni Lord, remember, kasi gusto ng Diyos, makabalik ka sa Kanya. Gusto ng Diyos, makabalik tayo sa Kanya. Okay. Sabi dito, hold fast and repent. Hawakan mo yung nalalahanin mo. Yung naalala mo. Parang sinasabi sa inyo, Lord, alika, go back in your memory lane. Alalahanin mo gano'n tayo ka-inlove sa bawat isa before. Alalahanin mo yung ating uh, ginagawa before. Alalahanin mo yung mga bagay na yan. Remember those moments. Remember those days. Okay, pwede namang hindi kayo nakatingin dito sa ano sa Bible verse. Okay, pwede nyo tingnan. Okay, kasi nasa ano. Now, sabi dito, therefore, Um, tawag dun, hold fast and repent. Repent, the word is repent. Ibig sabihin, bumalik ka na sa Diyos. Huwag mo nang patagalin. Pag when God called you to repent, huwag mong bigyan ng 24 hours. Now, nababasa nyo to, then narealize mo, ako to, mukhang ako yan, then repent. May nakita ka na, hey, now lumayo ako sa Lord, then repent. Huwag mong papatagalin kahit isang oras sana, as much as possible. Why? Because ang kaaway, ayaw niya ng repentance. The devil will try everything in his power to to stop us repenting before the Lord. He will do everything para huwag ka lang mag-repent. Maglalagay siya ng lies, maglalagay siya ng, ng suggestions, maglalagay siya. And when you start entertaining those things, hindi ka na magre-repent. Matatagalan. And that will not be beneficial sa iyo. So sabi dito, be watch, uh, saan yan? Uh, repent. Uh, verse 3, remember therefore how you have received and heard, hold fast and repent. Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what are I will come upon you. What does it mean? Bigla kong darating, bilang isang magdanakaw, if you will not repent. Dalawang bagay ang ibig sabihin niya, ang meaning niya. Number one, hindi mo alam kung kailan darating ang Diyos. Hindi mo alam kung mamaya babalik na siya. He will come like a thief, biglaan. That's the first meaning. So kung hindi mo alam kung kailan siya darating, natural, you need to be prepared kung kailan man siya dumating. Hindi ba? Tama ba? Tama mali. Amen ba? You need to be prepared. Para pag dumating siya, hindi, ala, nandito ko na pala, sa dali. Hindi <laughs> gano'n, di ba? Hindi ako gira-ready ka, gano'n, di ba? Magugulat ka na, sa dali, hindi pa ako nakapag-re-repent, bakit dumating ka na? Or, number two, ito, hindi mo alam kung hanggang kailan ang buhay mo. He will come like a thief. And maaaring hindi ka na magising mamaya. Maaaring hindi ka na magising bukas. That's why I'm telling you, if you have the opportunity to repent, and God is calling you to repent, repent. Now, 
Ito yung word niya dito. You have a few names. Sinasabi niya sa Sardis. Sa Sardis yes. You have a few names. Even in Sardis who have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white. For they are worthy. Sinasabi niya dito. Yung buong simbahan sa Sardis. Yung mga tao dyan. Yung mga kristyano dyan. Sa lugar ng Sardis. May iilan dyan na hindi hindi dead, hindi patay. O, di ba? Hindi patay. Mga totoong kristyano, mga genuine. Di ba? Sinasabi doon. Sinasabi. Sabi niya dito. Okay. Sabi niya, sila na mga genuine, silang hindi nag ng garments. At garments, ilang, silang spiritually hindi uh, nanindigan para sa pangalan ko, nanindigan para sa kabanalan ng Diyos. Sabi niya dito, pagkaw nanindigan sa kabanalan ng Lord, nanindigan ka para sa Panginoon. Sabi dito. Ready na kayo? Sabi dito. Um, they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy. Katawagin ka ng Panginoon na ikay karapat dapat maglakad kasama siya. Just imagine a day kung saan nagdidate kayo ng Lord at sinasabi niya sa'yo karapat dapat date tayo kasi you are worthy to walk with me. So ibig sabihin ko merong karapat dapat maglakad ang kasama ang Diyos merong hindi karapat dapat maglakad kasama. Ganun lang yun. Okay? So I pray tayo, makita natin ang sarili natin na tayo karapat dapat o naisin natin na maging karapat dapat tayo maglakad kasama ang Diyos. Amen ba? Tama ba? Sino dito gusto mo maging karapat dapat ka na maglakad kasama si Lord? Diba? Ako gusto ko. <laughs> Sana kayo din. So sabi dito, exciting. Just imagine, nagwawak kayo sa Garden of Eden. Nagwawak kayo dun sa, dun sa, ano, dun sa, um, ano yun? Nakitimutan <laughs> ko. Rodos, yung, yung kalsada na ginto naglalakad kayo, kasama mo si Lord. At sabihin niya, alam mo ito, kasama ko. Sinasabi niya sa mga taong paligid, nakapaligid, nakakita sa inyo. Ito, itong anak ko na ito, karapat dapat ito. That's, that is how God sees you. That is how God sees us. You are worthy to walk with Him. So therefore, kung nakikita niya na gumagawa tayo ng bagay para, para maging unworthy tayo to walk with Him, niwina warning niya tayo. Inalagyan niya yung sarili niya. Gumagawa siya ng way para i-avoid tayo sa mga sa mga daan, sa mga pitfalls, sa mga lugar na alam natin, alam niya ikakapahamak natin. That is how good God is. Naintindihan niyo na ba kung gaano kabuti ang Diyos? Kung gaano ka kamahal ng Lord? Gaano siya kabuti? Okay, karam kadugtong lang doon ng Nathan kanina. Okay. He who overcome shall be clothed with white garments. Bakit white garments? Ano meron sa white? White is a symbolism of purity. White is a symbolism of holiness. God is pure. God is holy. Yan lang yun. Wala nang komplikadong explanation. Yun lang yun. I will. Okay. Sabi dito, he, sabi dito, I will not blot out. Take note the word. Ah. I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before angels. Okay. This will be a controversial topic. Remember, ewan ko ano magiging stand nyo rito. I will not blot out his name from the book of life. So therefore, kung sinabi ng Lord, I will not blot out your name from the book of life. Therefore, ang name mo pwedeng mawala sa book of life. Ganun lang kasimple. Anong ibig sabihin? So it's something to think about. Pastor, paano nalalagay ang name sa book of life? Pag tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Pag tinanggap mo ang, buha, ang pangalan mo, ang, ang Panginoon sa buhay mo, you keep your life to the Lord, seriously, genuinely, You make him your Lord, you make him your Savior, immediately your name is written in the book of life. What is the book of life? The book of life is the book of, is the record of the people that will be with God one day. Yan ang book of life. Okay. So therefore, kung ang pangalan ay, wait lang, kung ang pangalan ay nasusulat sa book of life, so therefore, ang pangalan pwede rin matanggal. Kasi nakalagay dito, take note, nabasahin natin mabuti, I will not blot out. So may word na I will not blot out, ibig sabihin, pero ding word na I will blot out. Hindi ko tatanggalin. Sino? Kanino, sino yung hindi niya tatanggalin na pangalan? Kanino pangalan hindi niya tatanggalin? Sa mga tao na hindi tumalikod sa kanya. Amen. So ito yung doctrine na nawawala ang salvation. Kaya sabi ko controversial eh. Nawawala ba salvation? <laughs> Kaya nasumagot. Hindi yun ang pinag-uusapan natin. Pero sinasabi dito na kung anong meron ka, 
Huwag kang panigurado na, ah, magkakasala na lang ako, tatali ko doon sa Lord. Kasi sigurado na akong same, hyper grace. Sigurado na akong ligtas. Iba yung sinasabi ng revelation. Iba ang sinasabi ng revelation. Okay? First time nyo ba nababasa ito? <laughs> Nagugulat ba kayo sa Bible? But I will confess His name before my Father and before His angels. Ipagmamalaki ka ng Diyos. Ipagmamalaki ka ni Kristo. Siya mismo magsasabi, just imagine ang cheerleader mo, si Lord. Alay, ni Sheila. Alam mo, ni Sheila Grace, ang galing ni Sheila makakaya. Alam mo, anak ko na to, grabe. Alam mo yung ganun na na pinagmamalaki ng Lord. That's your reward. So may question ako. Kung that's your reward, and that will be the reward, bakit ka tatalikod sa Lord? Bakit tayo tumatalikod sa Diyos? Bakit tayo nagbabackslide? Bakit tayo nawawala kayaan? Amen? What is the Church of Sardis symbolize? Mga person na totally tumalikod sa Lord. They are serving God before, they are not serving the Lord anymore. They are attending the church before, committed, they are not attending church anymore. They have relationship with Jesus before, they are know the gospel, they know the Bible. Wala na silang pakailang. Or, or more than that, they are people na before defender ng faith, naging ano sila, sila na yung sumisira, sila na yung skeptic, sila na yung mga naging skeptic of faith, and so on and so forth. So, Sino yung mga tao na to? Uh, ayoko na mag-name ng church. Ayoko na mag-name ng church. Ito na siguro yung church na hindi ako mag-name. Okay? Yung mga papasahin natin, hindi ako mag-name mga example at churches tonight. Okay? Just to be safe. Not to be judgmental. But, does it exist? Yes. Does it exist sa maaaring sa bang? Sana wala. Sana. Sana wala. Uh, sana talaga wala. Kahit yung presence sa church natin o kaya yung mga dati naging ka-church natin, I pray, I pray, wala. Okay? I pray, wala. Okay? I hope wala. Pero, di mo may iiwasan eh. Pero does it, does it exist sa lahat ng churches? Yes. Possible. Is it possible ang isang book church? Dead church? Yes. Okay? Kaya nga hindi ako magpapangalan eh. Hindi <laughs> ako magpapangalan. May idea ba ako? Wala din. Kasi mahirap magpangalan. Kasi only God sees. Only God sees if the person is genuinely na convert sa kanya. Lagi yung tatandaan yan. Only God sees kung talaga naging kristyano ka, naging born, naging kristyano ka, talaga pinigay mo ang buhay mo sa Panginoon. It's only God. Siya lang naman talaga nakakita ng puso natin eh. But, but, merong fruits. Merong fruits lagi yan na hindi matatangke. Na makikita ng mga tao sa paligid mo, ito totoong kristyano to. Ito totoong may relationship sa mo. Amen? Kasi sabi sa Bible, the fruit, Uh, ano, you will know them by their fruits. Malalaman mo sila sa pamagitan ng kanyang bunga. Okay. So, kung ang Sardis Church ay wag natin tularan, verse 7, ito ang dapat tularan natin, ang Church of Philadelphia o tinatawag na Faithful Church. Ito ang dapat i-goal ng bawat Kristiyano. Ang Faithful Church, sino siya? Ito naman pakilala ng Panginoon sa Faithful Church. This thing says, He who is holy, He who is true, He who is the key of David, He who opens and he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens. Okay, medyo mahaba to pero hindi magkakaroon ako ng ibang teaching concerning this ah. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, but for now, summary muna ito yung pakilala na ng Panginoon na siya yung banal, siya ang totoo, meron siyang key of David. Ano ba yung key of David na yan? Pag-uusapan natin yan one day. Okay? Babalikan natin to ng konti. But that but not tonight. He who opens the door and no one shuts bubuksan yung pintuan na yan at natin kan shot ano ba ano ba ano bang pintuan yan uh, ibig sabihin ang Dios nagbubukas ng pintuan at pag nagbukas siya ng pintuan paano malalaman na pintuan na binuksan niya ng Lord obviously nasa harapan mo hindi mo pwedeng hindi mo na kailangan tanungin Lord pintuan ba to parang binuksan sa iyo at sinasad kung masok ka na lang yan yung pintuan na binuksan ko para sa iyo yan God opens the door and God is not God of confusion When God opens a door for you, you will know it's from Him. Obvious. Alam mo yung obvious na lang. Nabulag ka pag hindi mo pa makita. Ito na yung pintuan na sa harapan mo na galing sa Diyos yan. Ayan yan. Okay? Sabi dito, number eight. I know your works. Sabi niya sa Philadelphia. Wait lang po. Yung Philadelphia na to, hindi po to yung Philadelphia sa Amerika. Hindi na. Lahat na pinag-uusapan ng church ay church sa Asia. Okay? Church sa Asia. Most probably around Turkey. Okay? Ay, bakit? May akala bang, akala mo ba, Tishy, galing Philadelphia? 
Avengers sa Asia. Asia to, okay? Nakita ko yung reaction kasi. Okay, church sa Asia. Okay, okay. Ha? Now, balik tayo. I know you, I know your works. Okay, so, sa mga ano, first and mind blown, okay? Church sa Asia to, Turkey, around Turkey, around Europe. Okay. Makiki- By the way, gusto ko lang din sabihin, makikita niyo yung ruins pa rin sa, sa pagpunta kayo sa Europe, pinunta niyo yung mga lugar na to. Makikita niyo yung mga ruins. Makikita niyo yung mga dating mga ancient ruins sa mga lugar na to. They exist, okay? <laughs> Sabi ko, sabi ng Lord's Verse 8, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied me. Ayo. Okay, mahalaga sa Lord. Ayun, okay. So, mahalaga sa Lord na kahit anong mangyari, ahawakan mo ang kanyang salita. Mahalaga sa Panginoon. Do not, uh, uh, do not uh, let go of the word of God in your heart. Amen? Okay, so I hope that's that's clear. So, sabi dito, I have kept my word and have not denied my name. Ibig sabihin, denied my name. Bakit? Sa panahon nila, they are persecuted. These are the people that were persecuted. At sa kabila nila, they are the people na sinabi nila, kahit magkamatayan at magkamatayan, hindi namin tatalikuran ang pangalan mo. Hindi namin i-deny ang pangalan mo. Buhay ng kapalit, but we will remain faithful. We will remain faithful no matter what. And I'm inviting you, church, I'm inviting everyone, let's remain faithful sa pino. Amen? Let's remain Faithful. Is that an amen ba? Okay? Manatili kang tapat no matter what. Let's continue. Okay, wait lang. Okay. Nawala yung ano, nawala yung share screen ko. Okay. Sorry. Nawala pala yung share screen ko. Hindi ka napansin. Okay. So, let's continue. Okay. So, sabi dito, okay, asan na ako? Uh, ayan, head cap na verse 9. Sabi dito, Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, ito na naman yung synagogue of Satan, second time natin nabasa to, synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews but are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Sino yung, sino yung itong synagogue of Satan? Marami itong meaning eh, pero ito yung pinakasimple. Sila yung mga tao na mukhang hudyo, mukhang they are Jews, pa- di distract pasensya na mo mukhang may lumalaban sa ano eh okay sa spirit okay tuloy tayo okay so sabi dito so tuloy tayo so ibig sabihin ng synagogue of satan these are the people na it seems uh, mukhang kakampi mo pero actually sisirain ka ilalayo ko sa Panginoon okay meron mga taong ganito okay so they are these are the people yes they do exist They, yes, they do exist sa panahon natin. They, they do exist sa panahon nila. They do exist sa panahon natin. And they will exist still in the, in the future. What's their purpose? To destroy the church. What's their purpose? To destroy your faith. What's their, what is their purpose? To destroy the, 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 the relationship that you have in the Lord. Okay? So, these are the people. Okay. Who say they are Jews or not, but lie. Nagsisinungaling. Deception. They are the people who's doing deception. Okay. So, nagkikreate sila ng deceiving. Deception. Kala mo, tama. Kala mo, okay sila. Pero actually, hindi. Okay. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Ano yun? Masabihin ko sana, pinipersecute nila kayo, pinapairapang nila kayo, sinisiraan nila kayo, and so on and so forth. Ipapa, this is the word. Maring hindi nyo magustuhan yung word. Ipapa, mukha ko sa kanila. What does it mean? God will fight for you. 
If you see him, parang kaya persecut ka, God will fight for you. It's it's God who will fight for you. That's the word. Ay bilis na lang natin. Okay, God will fight for you. Ganun ka kamahal ng Diyos. Amen ba? Ganun tayo kamahal ng Lord. Sabi, I will come before worship your feet and to know that I have love. Ipapakita ko sa nila na mahal kita. Sabi ng Panginoon, papatunayan ko sa kanila na mahal kita kaya ipaglalaban kita. Ganun yan. Because you have kept my command. Command to, per- to persevere. Ayan no? Meron palang condition eh. You have kept my command to persevere. I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to quickly hold fast what you have uh, to quickly hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown okay lilinawin natin okay this verse 11 kung hindi natin naiintindihan to uh, dahil kinu ay uh, verse 10 merong pag ikaw um pinagpersevere ka hindi ka nagquit sa yung faith sa pananampalataya sa Lord siya rin ang bahala sa iyo. Kailan? At the hour of trial. Kailan yung hour of trial? Dalawang bagay yan. Number one, sa panahon na na personal, na you are being tried and tested, God will hold you and God will preserve you. Pero kung pag-uusapan natin ang interpretation ng revelation, ito yon. Ito yung isa sa mga first nine signs. Okay, first nine signs na ipepreserve ng Lord ang church sa panahon ng tribulation. Sa panahon, ano yung tribulation? Sa panahon ng paghihirap. Sa darating ang time, ha, may paghihirap na mangyayari sa mundo because mayroong antichrist na magra-rise up. Yes, pag-uusapan natin yan. Mayroong ganong darating bago dumating si Kristo, mangyayari muna yan. At dito, it's a, ito sa mga sign na sinasabi nila, hindi ko sinasabi na Ayan ako, pero ito yung sinasabi nila na hindi matadamay ang church sa tinatawag na tribulation. Merong naniniwala na matadamay ang church, dadaanan ng church yung tribulation. Kaya may tinatawag na pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, pre-tribulation. Hindi matadamay ang simbahan mid tribulation madadayan ganun yan okay pre trip sa post trip so maraming ganun isa yung sa mga big debate so on and so forth okay so ililip ko sa inyo kung kayo ba ay pre trip post trip ko kung gusto niyo paniwalaan ano yung pre trip ang pre tribulation ibig sabihin bago dumating ang paghihirap sa mundo lahat ng genuine na kristiyano mara rapture yung word na rapture mawawala may mga Bible verses at ba- wala yung salitang rapture sa Bible pero may mga principle ng rapture na yun sa Bible. Okay? So pag-uusapan natin yan, darating kayo dyan. Biglang mawag-bilalaho. Okay. Ngayon, ano ngayon yung, i-close ko muna to ha? Okay? Ano muna? Balik mo lang. Tapos, ano ngayon yung, ano na 20 tayo ha? Bakit na wala yun? Okay. Um, yun yung rapture. Ano yung post-trib? Ang post-trib, ang post-trib, ito yung mga, uh, uh, tawag dito, yung moment na natapos na yung dadaanan mo hindi hindi magkakaroon ng rapture ang rapture mangyayari after after ng event ng paghihirap yan okay so merong pre trib pero post trib ano yung mid trib ang mid trib sa kalagitnaan ng paghihirap na nangyayari sa mundo doon biglang magkakaroon ng rapture so sa madali sa lahat may magkakaroon ng rapture meron man naniniwala na hindi magkakaroon ng rapture so basta ang point doon is this Uh, darating ang time, sabi doon sa binasa natin sa buko ng Philadelphia, sa Church ng Philadelphia, ililigtas ka ng Diyos. Okay, whether naniniwala ka sa pre-trib, naniniwala ka sa post-trib, iisa ang conclusion nun. Ililigtas ka ng Diyos. Period. Amen. Ililigtas ka ng Diyos. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka mapahamak. Is that an amen? Okay? So, ililigtas ka ni Lord. So, take note of that, ililigtas ka ng Diyos. So, tapusin natin. Tapusin natin ito. Okay, ngayon. Sabi dito, okay. So, ano secret para ano hawaka ka ng Lord? Persevere. Ano ibig sabihin ng persevere? Ito yung word na ginagamit at yung madalas. Be faithful. Be faithful. Okay? Be faithful. Okay. Then, sabi dito, uh, verse 11, Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. Diba? 
ah, ayan, hawakan mo mabuti yung ano meron ka para wala makapagnakaw niyan. Huwag mong ipanakaw yung pananampalataya meron ka, huwag mong ipanakaw. Ano yung crown? That speaks about your reward. That speaks about the crown of life. That speaks about the crown of righteousness. Nung naging kristyano ka, meron kang corona. Okay? Nasa Bible yan. Iba-iba lang yung corona na yan. Okay, nasa Bible yan. Okay, now. He who, he who overcomes, I will make him a pillar of temple of my God. Wow, magiging sandigan ka ng templo ng Panginoon. And he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. My city ang Diyos. Okay, may city siya. The new, the, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. He was an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Okay, ito yung reward mo. Pastor, paliwanag natin itong reward na to. <laughs> ito yung isa sa mga reward na hindi ko kaya magpaliwanag sa inyo. Kasi hindi lahat ng reward kaya may paliwanag. Hindi lahat kailangan paliwanag. Kasi, Pastor, bakit kailangan tao kasi nag interpret eh. Pero hindi lahat ng sinasabi sa Bible kailangan lagyan ng interpretation. Lagi natin tatandaan yan. Hindi lahat simbolisen. Dito, yung reward dito, na binasa ko sa inyo, lahat ng reward, hindi yung simbolisen. Actual yun. At ang Diyos lang ang nakakaalam kung bakit yun yun. Okay? You might perhaps try to interpret it according to the knowledge that you have. Pero, you will still fall short. Alam nyo bakit? Pwede na kayo dito. Kasi iba ang mind ni God sa mind, ng, sa mind natin. Sa mind natin. But trying to understand Him, try to understand Him, actually, hindi mo pa rin siya maiintindihan. Diba? So may mga bagay na ipapaintindi sa si Lord kung dapat maintindihan mo. Lagi natin tatandaan yan. Dapat maintindihan natin, God will give you the wisdom to understand certain things. If you don't need to understand it, God will not, God will hide it from you until the right time that you need to understand. Just like you, verse 12. So, tulad na sinabi ko, kung kaya ko paliwanag, papaliwanag ko, kung lumangas yun sa study, pag sasabihin ko sa inyo, pag hindi lumabas sa study, hindi, hindi ko papaliwanag. Okay? Yun lang kasimple. Okay, now, kung nagkaroon ng bagong revelation, susubukan ko sabihin sa inyo. But for now, may reward. At ang reward, Sulat ang pangalan mo sa langit, susulat ang pangalan mo sa new city, susulat niya yung pangalan niya sa'yo. Ibig sabihin, reward mo, bagong pangalan. And take note of this. Lagi niyo naririg ko, who, he who has an ear, ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. What does it mean? It speaks of the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Are you hearing Him? Okay, take note of that. The Holy Spirit is speaking. Are you hearing Him? Anong ibig sabihin, are you hearing Him? Are you listening to what He is saying? The Lord is speaking to you. Are you listening sa sinasabi ng Holy Spirit sa atin? Mahalagang mahalaga ang sinasabi ng banal ng Espiritu Santo. Mahalagang mahalaga na pinapanggan natin kung anong sinasabi niya. And last one. Sabi ko, di ba, hanggang 915 tayo. Nagsabi naman ako sa inyo. Okay, last one. Okay. The lukewarm church. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The lukewarm church. So, sino naman yung isang example ng faithful church? Wala rin ako masasabi kasi hindi natin alam kung gaano ka faithful ang isang church. Ang prayer ko na lang, ikaw bilang isang Kristiyano, maging tapat tayo. Amen? Okay, wag na tayo maghanap ng as a whole church, maging tapat tayo. Hindi, bilang Kristiyano na lang, bilang individual, maging, maging tapat tayo sa Lord. Okay? Yun yung, yun yung invitation, yun yung encouragement. Maging tapat ka sa God. Bakit? Kung merong patay, merong tapat, merong lukewarm. Ano yung lukewarm? Iinom ka ba ng kape na maligam-gam ang tubig? Siyempre, hindi. <laughs> Di ba? Hindi masarap ang kape na maligam-gam ang tubig. That's lukewarm. And to the angel of church of Laodiceans, I write, this thing says the Amen. He is the Amen. Ito description niya. The faithful and the true witness. The beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither nor hot nor cold. Abalita pala. No, neither cold nor hot. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng cold or hot? Hindi ka on fire? Hindi ka rin, ma- hindi ka rin malamig? Hindi ka rin backslider? Ano ka ba talaga? <laughs> hindi ka makapag-design. <laughs> diba? Backslider ka o on fire? Dalawa lang yan eh. O, hindi ka makapag-design. Okay. Minsan sala sa init, minsan sala sa lamig. Minsan, minsan kaibigan mo ang Diyos, minsan kaibigan mo sa satanas. <laughs> Okay. 
I I could I could wish you were cold or hot. Bakit sinasabi I could wish you were cold or hot? At least alam mo, pag hot ka, magpapatuloy ka sa Lord, on fire ka, gusto mo Panginoon, kung cold ka, pwede ka i-rebuke ng Diyos at sasabihin sa'yo, hey, mali yan, ito mali mo, ito mali mo, marirealize mo, mali ka, may opportunity ka mag-repent. Anong ibig sabihin ng cold or hot? Hindi ka aware kung kristyano ka ba talaga. <laughs> Hindi ka sure. Alam mo yung ganun? Nag-church ka, pero tanong ko sa'yo, masasabi mo ba talaga 100% that you are a follower ng Lord? Iba na, bibigay mo ba talaga yung buhay mo sa'yo? Lukewarm. Maligam-gam na kristyano. Okay. Gusto ni Lord na on fire tayo. Gusto ni Lord kung backslide tayo para maibalik niya tayo. Ganun. Pero wag mo, wag yung tipong pati ang Diyos papahulaan mo. Dito kasi para pinapahulaan nila si Lord na hulaan mo kami Lord kung kami pa on fire o hindi. Kapansin nyo? So sabi dito, so then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot or cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Isusuka ko kayo. And that's a very, very, that's true. Ano yung ibig sabihin susuka? Parte kayo ng body ko. Di ba? We are body. The church is the body of Christ. Parte tayo. He is the head. Jesus is the head. We are the body. Anong isusuka? I will remove you as part of the body. You will not be belong to the Lord. If you think na sabi yung lukewarm Christian, you belong to Jesus or you belong to God, opposite yung sinasabi ng Bible. Pwede niya sabihin, eh, pastor, babait ang Diyos ko and so on and so forth. But, di ba, iba ang sinasabi ng Bible. Yung nababasa niyo to. Ini-interpret ko lang, kapaliwanag ko lang, ito sinasabi ng Bible. Sabi dito, I will vomit you out of my mouth because you say I am rich. I have become wealthy and have need of nothing and do not know that you are rich, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Parang, oo, oh, oh, mayaman kayo. Oo, oh, oh, successful kayo. Totoo yan, sinasabi niya dito. Ito yung mga church na maaaring malaki, maaaring maganda, maaaring mega church. Ayan, sabi ko na. Okay, <laughs> sabi na ano. Uh, ganon, di ba? Ano, may ganon. Pero, sa totoo lang, bulag kayo. Miserable. Nagihirap ang spirito ninyo. How bad kayo? Nakakahiya. Yan na parang sinasabi dito. Ang Lord. Verse 18. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich. Anong ibig sabihin by I counsel you? Kumuha kayo ng gold refined by the fire. Anong ibig sabihin doon? Hayaan niyo kayong dumaan sa apoy. Hayaan niyo i-form ko yung character ninyo. Kasi hindi pera, hindi material na gold ito ang mahalaga sa mata ng Diyos. Mari nag offering kayo. Mari binibigyan niyo ako ng offering, pero actually hindi yan ang kailangan ko. Yung para sa ng Lord. I will give you gold Refined by fire. What is, what is gold refined by fire? Remember, yun yung, yun yung uh, merong sinasabi sa Bible, may dumaan sa apoy. Yung mga bagay na dumaan sa apoy, kung ano yun, kung may matitira ba. Okay? Pag sinabing ikaw, gusto ng Lord, pagdaanin ka sa apoy, ibig sabihin, character. Gusto ng Lord. I believe character. Gusto ng i-form yung character. Merong bagay na, yung puso ng Panginoon, yung puso mo para sa Lord, hindi mawawala. Hindi, hindi ano yan, hindi mamamatay. Then, tuloy tayo. That you may be rich in white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. And anoint your eyes with eyes out that you may be see. Anong ibig sabihin dito? Ito lang pinakasama rin yan. Okay? Para hindi kayo maguluhan. Okay. Nadideceive ka. Hindi mo alam nadideceive ka. Deceive ka. Pero hindi mo alam deceive ka. That's lukewarm. Spiritual, pwede mo ipakita kayo ang sinasabi ko to lagi eh, sa lahat eh. Okay? Sinasabi ko to sa lahat. I hope na sana ready kayo. Okay. Okay. Ito sabi ko sa lahat. Post muna natin to. Then we're going to uh, prepare nyo na yung tibo yung ano yan. Kung yun yan. Mag-enda tayo. Okay. Um, ito sabi lahat sa iba. Kung pwede kayo mag-on-come on kami iba. Please take note this word. Do not spiritualize sin. Okay? Do not spiritualize sin. What does it mean? What do, what do I mean pag sinabi ko do not spiritualize sin? Before, may girlfriend ako. Ang girlfriend ko before si si Kreb. 
Okay, si ano, bago pa ako maging pastor, may unang-unang girlfriend ko after more than five years na wala akong uh, someone in my life. Okay. Now, nagsiserve ako sa Lord, nagsiserve siya sa kagad. Okay, pa kami ng church, magkalayo kami ng lugar. Okay. Then, naging kami. Okay. So, nung naging kami, uh, may mga compromises. Slight, small, mini compromises. Sobrang liit, hindi halatang compromise. Pero compromise. Ang compromises is wala siya sa laki, wala siya sa liit. Pag sinabing compromise, compromise. Okay. Now, lie is lying, compromise, yes. Is rebellion, compromise, yes. Is disobedience, compromise, yes. And so on and so forth. Anything. At sasabihin naman sa inyo ng Diyos eh. Hindi, hindi ka lang papabayaan ng Diyos na sabihin niya sa'yo, mali yan anak. Mali yan, mali yan. Sasabihin niya sa'yo, mali yan. Sasabihin niya sa'yo. Maraming way. And sa amin, sinabi namin yan. But because we are serving the Lord, we he, she is serving the Lord, I am serving God, it seems mukha kaming okay. Mukha kami on fire. We are so on fire with the Lord. Okay. Mukha ka lang on fire. At pwedeng mukha kang on fire. Pero sa totoo lang, sinusuka ka ng Diyos. And that's hard. We don't want to hear that. Pero that's reality. You do not spiritualize sin. When the Lord said, um, Enak, mali yan. And that's it. Mali yan. Sometimes kasi we justify and that is part ng lukewarm. Lukewarm meaning you are, you are walking as a Christian, you are still serving the Lord, you are on fire in God and so on and so forth. But at the same time, merong parte ng buhay mo na hindi mo masurrender sa Lord. That's part ng lukewarm. Sometimes, may tinatawag na parang halo-halo na yung lukewarm. Minsan parang backslide, minsan parang compromising, Nagkahalo-halo <laughs> na. Ang bottom line, ang isang lukewarm na person is deceived. Am I deceived during the time? Yes, I am deceived. Nasabihin ko sa inyo kasi napaka-spiritual eh. Sobrang spiritual. I am deceived. And it took many, many years. And I tell you, last one, if you are deceived, if you are being deceived, what will happen is ito ay magdo-domino effect. That's why God is doing something to prevent it from further damage. Always take note of that. God will prevent it. God will help God will ano do something para ilayo ka niya dun sa sa further damage na tinatawag. And what's going to happen is ayun ni Lord mapahama ka. Kasi kami eh, kunti ka sa amin may mangyari. Akin, nandun na nga eh, may nangyari na nga sa amin. So what is what God's going to do? He's going to cut it. Bago ako maging Christian, bago ako maging pastor noon. Okay, hindi ko alam magiging pastor ako noon. Hindi ko alam nung ginibab ko siya two years after that, pastor ako. <laughs> okay. Hindi ko alam. Okay. Hindi ko alam. Two years after that, pastor ako. Pastor niyo ako after two years. After two years, giving her up. Totally giving her up. That's the point. Kasi alam ng Diyos, magiging pastor ako. Hindi ko alam, magiging pastor ako. O ayoko maging pastor. So, sino ba susunod? <laughs> sino ba susunod? Yan na lang yan. Sino ba susunod? So, yeah, yun ang story. Kaya ako nandito sa harapan nyo. <laughs> yun, ang isang lukewarm. But let us not become lukewarm. And let's finish it. Let's end with this. Okay? May natutunan kayo? Let's end. Sabi niya dito, As many as I love, I rebuke and chase them. Yan pala yun eh. Kaya ka pinapagalitan kasi mahal ka niya. <laughs> I rebuke and chase them. Pinapagalitan kita mo na correct ka na kasi mahal kita na nakagigil ka. <laughs> Sabi ng Lord. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Zealous. Anong ibig sabihin ng zealous? Passion. Be passionate again sa akin. Sinasabi ng Panginoon. Nasabi sa akin ng Lord, balik ka sa akin. Huwag mo nang patagalin. Repent. Diba? Anong pang inihintay mo? Nag-aantay ako sa iyo. Yan ang sinasabi ng Panginoon sa iyo. Yan ang sinasabi ng Lord sa akin. Diba? Lapit ka na sa akin. Diba? God is excited to be with you. Take note of that. God is excited to be with you. Okay. Behold, I stand at the door and knock if anyone hears. Ito yung famous verse. Ewan ko, nabasa niyo na to. Behold, I stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice and open the door. I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. Kumakatukan Diyos sa puso. 
pagbubuksan mo ba? To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne. Uupo ka sa trono ng Panginoon. As I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He was an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Palapakan natin na Panginoon. That's, um, that's the seven churches. So, i-ano i- natin, i- sasend ko yung ilan sa inyo. Okay, kay Lance, kay Kai, yung mga unang lesson. Medyo pagtyagaan nyo lang yung audio kasi nagagano nga. Naitawid natin. So, so ngayon, I'm inviting everyone here. Okay? So, prepare your communion. As I tell this, I'm inviting everyone. That's why I decided mag-communion tayo tonight. Kasi I want everyone here magkaroon ng opportunity na Lord, I want you. Because communion is ready dedicating our life to God. When we communion, when we do communion, we rededicate our heart to God. Lord, so this is an opportunity of repentance. This is an opportunity of being zealous again. Kung feeling mo naging lukewarm ka, okay, ito, maging on fire ka na ulit. Kung feeling mo na matay ka, ito na, balik na. Kung feeling mo na wala yung first love mo, ito na, <laughs> so on and so forth. Parang this is an opportunity, this is a new beginning, this is a new start, this is a new fresh uh, moment kasama ang Diyos. Amen ba? Ba? So, yun ang pinaka-ano natin as a we do the communion. That's the church of, that's the churches, the seven churches of Revelation. So, the uh, seven churches of Revelation speaks of who you are. And it speaks of who we are in the Lord. At ang gusto lang ng Diyos, siguro let me wrap up with this. Sa kanyang pagbabalik, hinahandaan natin ang sadili natin to become um, may worthy maging karapat dapat sa kanya. Amen? At tingnan nyo, kung sino, sino, nagsosob, sino gumagawa ng solution, sino nagbibigay ng instruction, sino din. Siya rin mismo nagsasabi na, anak, ito ang gawin mo. Ito gawin. Napansin nyo, kapag ganita nga yan, sabi niya sa'yo, may mali. Ito mali mo. Tapos sinabi niya sa church, yes. tapos siya rin nagsasabi, o ito gawin mo para makabalik ka. Ganun ka amazing ang God. Hindi niya lang basta kinukore ka, tapos parang iwan ka, bahala ka, i-resolve mo mag-isa. <laughs> Hindi ganun. <laughs> Hindi ganun. At sabi niya sa'yo, na o anak, meron ka mali, o ito mali nyo, o ito gawin nyo. Ginawa niya to, ito reward. Alam niyo ang tawag doon? It's the goodness of God. Ganun, kabuti, ang Diyos. Sige, let's pray. Father God, maraming maraming salamat po for this afternoon. At uh, this evening, open camp tayo everyone sa mga pwede mag-open camp pag hindi, ma, uh, pag hindi mahina ang signal ninyo. Lord, thank you Jesus. And as we do our communion tonight, help us God na ma- maintindihan lalo. Uh, we dedicate to you our heart. We dedicate to you our love to you God. We dedicate to you uh, this moment. And Lord, samahan lang po ninyo kami, Panginoon, for this opportunity. Uh, extended time, Lord God. Lord, dinededicate namin. Kung ano meron dyan. Meron makikita tinapay, biskwit, uh, crackers, o ano man. Okay? So, Lord, we dedicate that to you. Uh, pati yung drinks, we dedicate it to you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for this moment. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Bell, meron kayo dyan. Justin, meron kayo dyan. Muna, meron kayo dyan, ano, biskwit. Hindi ko kasi kayo nakikita eh. Pero meron, meron ba dyan? Sagutin mo yung tanong ko. <laughs> okay? Sagutin. Sana meron, ha? Sana meron. Okay? Okay, sige. So, I hope meron. Okay, ngayon. Sige, ganito gawin nyo. Ganito gawin natin. Ah, yun. Meron daw. Meron. Okay, good. Okay, sige. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. Before we do, uh, we do the, ano, we do the, ah, uh, tawag the prayer for the communion. Um, Can you ah uh, can you simply talk to the Lord? Total nakabit naman kayong lahat. Ikaw lang sa kanya. Usap lang kay ng Lord for one minute. Just talk to God. Sa mga napag-usapan natin ngayong gabi nito, just talk to God. If nakita mo yung sarili mo doon slide, wait kahit yung faithful, talk to the Lord. Lord, gawin pa ako maging faithful. Just talk to God. Eh, hindi ko alam kung ano gusto mong sabihin sa Lord, but just talk to the Lord. Jesus, just talk to Jesus. Lord, uh, I invite your Holy Spirit to speak to everyone right now. I invite your Holy Spirit to speak to everyone right now. Holy Spirit, we welcome you right now. To every house, to every room, to every place, wherever we are. Speak to us. Speak to us. Thank you, Jesus, for this moment. Oh, sarap-sarap lang pakiramdam na ito, Panginoon. Nakausap ka namin. Ayaw namin maging dead church, dead Christian. Ayaw namin maging lukewarm Christian. 
We want to become faithful Christian. We want to be on fire people of the Lord. We want to become obedient people of God. We want to become obedient children. We want to become worthy. You want to become the bride of Christ because we are the bride of Christ. So Lord, sa gabi ito, samahan lang po ninyo kami, Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus, for this night. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, pause muna tayo. May nawala. Uh, sino nawala? Si... Wait lang, ah. Ayan, si si Ate Shi. Ate Shi nawala. Ayan, nakamalik na sa Ate Shi. Okay. Sige, now please get your 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 tinapay. O ano ma meron kayo dyan. Okay. Let's get your tinapay. So, pakita natin tinapay natin. Talaga <laughs> bumili ako sa mark. So, pakita natin. Sige. Sige. Just kahit some portion lang, okay? Kahit maliit lang. Isa simbol lang naman. Isa simbolisan. Okay. Um, sabi sa Bible, this bread is a symbol of his body. Actually, hindi sinabi this is a symbol of his body. Sabi sa, sabi sa Bible, this bread is his body. Sabi niya, this is my body that I shall be uh, given up for you. And in the Bible said, upon his body, the chastisement for our sin and done. By his wounds, we are healed. So, Lord, therefore, we just want to say thank you. You said in your word also, offer our body as a living sacrifice. So, this evening, we offer to you our body as a living sacrifice. We receive what you have done on the cross, and we dedicate to you our body. Lord, starting tonight, ko yung katawan namin naging dahilan ng kasalanan, whether words, thoughts, emotion, action, and everything. We ask for forgiveness. We repent. And we give to you our heart to once more. Starting tonight, we are yours. We are yours. I am yours. Sabi mo lang, Lord, I am yours. I am yours. Sige, let's eat yung bread. Let's eat yung ano kung ano meron ka dyan. Please get the juice. Tapos, i-tash nila. Okay. So Lord, um, according to your word, sabi mo, Panginoon, this is your blood uh, which will be given up for us, for us to have an eternal life. And because of the blood of Jesus, the sins has been forgiven. But hindi lang na forgiven sins. The sins was washed away. You are forgiven, we are forgiven, we are washed away, we are clean, you are clean already. Huwag mong isipin na hindi ka pa malinis. You are sanctified, you are being transformed the every day. So Lord, thank you sa pamagitan ng dugo ni Jesus. Kami matagumpay, kami malaya na, kami napatawad, at kami ay malinis. And today, tonight, is a start of a new beginning. So tonight, Lord, we offer to you our heart, we offer to you our lives, we offer to you everything. Let's, uh, let's drink yung juice. Okay. Yeah. So I want you to talk to the Lord, just give Him thanks, wherever you are, just give Him thanks. So we just want to say thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the grace. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of sin. Thank you, Lord God, for this night. How amazing, how awesome, Lord God. Ito, nanatapos sa inyo seven churches. Ng storya ng revelation ng seven churches. And now tonight, we wrap up in, in, in communion, Lord. And thank you, God, for this moment. This is truly amazing. This is truly awesome. There's no one like you, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for everything. And tonight, we just want to say we love you. We praise you, Jesus. And starting tonight, Lord, we are yours. We are yours. Lord, salamat, Panginoon, sa bawat isa na kasama ko tonight. Thank you uh, for this moment. Naitawid naman yung book ng Revelation kahit naglolo ko yung signal kanina. But thank you, Jesus. Sa tapos na namin, naka-chapter, naka-three chapters na kami. Praise to you, Jesus. We love you. And thank you. Patul- uh, Saan pagtulog, ingatan niyo po ang bawat isa. Sa mga manood dito in a replay in the later times, Lord God, speak to them also just like how to speak to us. Everything na natutunan namin, we pray, ma-apply namin sa buhay namin and help us, help us, Lord, na lakaran ang calling na to. Salamat po. Ito po dalangin namin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen.